What's up? Howdy everybody, Kyler here. You can see that I am in front of a door that has the good sunlight. So it's not sunlight, it's real crappy out there. So every now and again, Alabama has to remind you that she is um, in control and she makes it 40 something degrees. And that's what we gotta deal with, but we gotta get fishing. However, we're gonna do things a little different today. And by different, I mean my GoPro batteries are all dead. So <laughs> we got a unique challenge. So my fishing club were sponsored by X Zone Lures. Now, if you ever checked out X Zone Lures, they have the nice packaging. It's all black. I haven't checked them out. Uh, I need to because the club is sponsored by them, and I like lures. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to take it out to a nice little fishing spot nearby. We're going to take out the what is it, muscle crawl, and the drop shot slam slim slammer, and we're going to see if we can catch ourselves. A pig or two. I gotta, I gotta clean my house. I'm sorry. So not a true fishing after five episode yet, because you know that's episode fifty, and episode fifty is gonna be real special. But with GoPro kaput, I gotta come out with content. So here we are. And yes, tournament number three is coming up soon. It'll be after episode fifty. It'll be episode fifty-one. I promise you. I know you guys are really looking for that episode uh, to try and steal my fishing secrets. I see you out there. All right, enough talking. Let's go get fishing and actually just do more talking. What I'll be fishing with today is the Int Sport Camo Legend. This thing, you, you see this? I fish with it a lot. You guys have seen it in a lot of my videos. Uh, I keep banging it on the ceiling, my bad. But Int Sport Camo Legend, all nice and stuff. But I want you to pay close attention to the picture right here. You see that picture? I wonder, I wonder who took that picture? It was me. I took that picture. So I've been working with InSport, I'm getting their social media campaign ready to go. Uh, you can follow them on InSport or InSport USA on Instagram. That's at InSport and at InSport USA. Sorry, I'm, I'm bad at this internet thing. So I'm going to take this rod here. I'm going to catch some things on that X Zone Lures, and we are going to do some combining sponsorship. Of course, GoPro batteries. Kaput! Keep in mind, so sporadic fishing. We'll get it. Anyway, let's put a reel on this, spool it up, and let's get going. Super windy out here, but as you can see, we've got the... Alright, it's not going to focus. X-Zone Slammer on a drop shot, and then a Int Sport uh, Camo Legend, an Int Sport Reel. And on it, we got ourselves a X-Zone Lures Muscle Back Craw with a bead and a weight. Just because it's uh, mad muddy. Alright, let's go see if we can catch something. Alright. See this? That was pretty quick. That was on the X Zone Lures Muscle Back Craw. Right there. Look at his mouth. He's breathing at you. Chomp, chomp. <laughs> he wants to be let go though. Let me show you what did it. All right, here we go. Here's our little craw. And there he is. Cold, wet day. Let's set him back. Now the water's still warm actually. So maybe it's not going to be that hard today gunk on the screen let me let me get that all right this uh no grow pro fishing is working out so far here he is one more he's got the muscle back craw in his mouth now look at that that is a texas rig with a bead on it now, i don't normally fish that but ever since uh the most recent tournament i've been trying it and i've been liking it still got the muscle back craw in his mouth i'm gonna get some shots of him for instagram so uh i'm gonna pause this for a second all right Get on hook, let the little fella go. One last look. That's two on the muscle back craw. So we're doing all right. Well, if it's working, I'm not gonna stop using it. I've learned that from tournaments, so let's keep going. All right, so this one was pretty quick. Got him on that Exxon slammer. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy. Chill out, hang on, don't hook me though. See that? That's the slam slammer, not the swammer. Whatever, we got him. Let's get them off here. Even bluegill love this thing. That's crazy. And that's a nice bluegill. Hey buddy, you got caught. You can see that, in sport. There's the rod leading to the line, leading down to the muscle crawl right here, leading to Mr. Fishy Fish, who decided that today was a good time to mess up his whole afternoon. I don't know why I talk like this. All right, let's get him off. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Let's get him off and uh, get some pictures with them and um, yeah. Well, the fishing part of this adventure is now over. I guess I'm gonna head home and uh, eat something because I'm gonna starve.
I'll continue to talk to you guys there. So far, a GoProless adventure isn't the best thing. However, I'm having a lot of fun filming it, and I hope you're having a lot of fun watching this, like, maybe the video is at, like, two seconds now, so. Let's head back and uh, see if I can answer some viewer questions, because I, I know I have a lot of questions from you guys that are burning at me, and I know you want some answers, so. Try my best to answer a good number of those. I probably can't answer all of them, but see you in a bit. Okay, so we're back in the laboratory. As you see, I got my lion and my business raccoon on the wall and a, just a bunch of mess right over here. What I'm gonna try and do is answer a couple of really frequently asked questions that I get all the time on every single bit of social media. Now you can find me at Fishing After Five, um, fishingafterfive.com, Fishing After Five is my Facebook, you know, it, it's all the same name. I keep it consistent. But I frequently find myself being asked the same questions and I wanted to try and answer them in a nice way that answers everything in a video form. So here you go. Question number one, where can I fish in Huntsville? So um, some of the places that I fish around Huntsville, uh, not public, things that I fish that are public, I typically, you know, say where they are. If they're not public, I, I definitely have permission to be there before I, uh, you know, go sneaking in. I'm not a very uh, trespassy type of man. Your best places to fish are going to be Hayes Nature Preserve, Jones Farm Park, Bronze Spring Park, um, what else? I found that place in Madison uh, by the Madison Hospital was quite nice. I don't know, however, if it is public or not. Nobody's ever, I, I've never been able to confirm that. I've tried, but uh, until they kick me out, I guess I'll be fishing there. Uh, Diddle Landing is also a wonderful place, if a little far out from Huntsville. And of course, you have the Flint River, which is also a little far out. So, uh, yeah, there are options, places you can go. And uh, yeah. question number two, what is the best place to fish in Huntsville? If I had to give you a personal favorite, mine would be Hayes Nature Preserve. Um, that is where I've caught my PB at. Uh, I do a lot of my summer fishing there. Um, I love exploring. I love the scenery. It's such a big place with a lot of different places to fish at. Um, when people are coming to Huntsville, I usually recommend them to go to Hayes Nature Preserve. So that's my personal favorite one. And uh, if you go out there, you are likely to see me every now and again. And if you do see me, say hi. Question number three, can I fish with you? <laughs> so I get this one a lot, uh, more than most. Uh, so I've decided to make like an event, maybe later this year, where we all meet up and fish in like Bronze Spring Park or, or something like that. I have to figure out the logistics of that, but I would love to do a meet up for all of the uh, the fans and friends I have in Huntsville to come see each other, say hi, maybe we can learn some fishing secrets together, and maybe we can try and catch something from Bottom Spring Park. Now, if you're a Huntsville native, you know that that's a little tough sometimes. <laughs> and question number four, do you fly fish? No, I would probably just hook myself, but I am looking at purchasing a fly fishing setup very soon, and I was going to try my best to learn it. However, I don't feel like fly fishing is necessarily going to be my thing is I'm really enjoying tournament bass fishing. So I, as I find my, my groove in that world, the less I, I tend to do other things. Of course, I'll still be fishing for bluegill because I love that. But uh, fly fishing is definitely on my radar and something I want to do one day soon. That's it for the questions today. If you have another question, leave a comment below. I'll be sure to answer it in the uh, best way that I can. Finally, I'd like to introduce a new sponsor to the channel. It's my first fishing sponsor ever, which is really awesome, and that's Intsport. Uh, Intsport saw my videos where I'm always using the Intsport, like Camo Legend and the Willow Handle. So I'm, I've been using them in my videos since like episode 11. Um, Intsport rods are great. Uh, I've loved them. They saw it. They contacted me and now we uh we work together so if you are not a fan of insport yet and you want to see more of their products you can go to at insport or at insport usa they have two instagrams i'll leave the links to them below and uh give them a follow uh, i'm sure they have amazing things coming down the line and trust me i wouldn't recommend it if i didn't personally use it but you see their rods in like almost every video i have now so 
kind of speaks for itself. And finally, on the uh, topic of episode 50, I had something very special I wanted to do for episode 50. And I was thinking of doing something weird where I'd have episode 51 come out first before episode 50, but then that wouldn't make sense because that's technically episode 50. I'm not too sure. I didn't want episode 50 to be another tournament video. So I, I, I had something better in mind but finances and I've got to take a work trip very soon to Las Vegas it's a little more difficult to do than I thought so I'm not sure but I will definitely figure it out uh, before I post it so uh, episode 51 which is the um, tournament on Pickwick will be coming out very soon it is one of the most exciting fishing adventures I've ever done seriously no joke uh, Tournament fishing is exhilarating. And I watch myself in these tournament fishing videos and I'm like a changed dude where I'm, I'm all serious and everything. It's cute. I love it. Well, that's all for now, folks. Bad day of fishing is way better than a good day of work. Leave your questions for me in the comments down below. Contact me on Facebook, Instagram, you name it. Stay weird, Fivers, and I'll see you all next time after five. And hey, we are almost at a thousand subscribers. We might make money from YouTube. Who knows? Good things are happening, though. And I have you, right there, you, have you to thank for it. Bye-bye, everybody.